Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Crawls. We're in the shop once again with Old Sarge. Have you ever wanted to tow something with your Jeep Wrangler, but you don't have the wiring harness for the trailer lights? Well, me either. But we're going to fix that today. So stick around and I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully it teaches you something. We're going to get some trailer lights installed in this Jeep. All right, guys, to get started, I've been reading through the instructions and it seems fairly straightforward. You've got this little contraption, this box, it's some sort of converter. You've got this, these two plugs that splice uh, into your trailer light or your uh, tail lights. On, this is the driver's side. You got to mount this little box here somewhere. Uh, the actual four pin connector, typical trailer light, uh, green, yellow, brown, and white. And then this, I, I've looked all over the inner interwebs and people have a real hard time with this. This black wire goes to your battery and they give you a, a pretty good run of, of wire. That's the part that I think people have an issue with. Then you've got this green wire that connects to another one of these um, connectors that goes, uh, that splices into the passenger side. Uh, then you've got a ground. We're just going to ground that to, a, to the body somewhere. And that should be it, I think. Uh, this kit comes with uh, butt connectors. That's to splice this black power wire. And somewhere, oh, there it is. There it is. It comes with the battery connection. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect this ring terminal to the battery. I don't have the fuse in it. It comes with the uh, 10 amp fuse uh, that we'll install later. But first thing I'm going to do is connect this uh, to the battery. And I think I'll go ahead and run this cable to the back. And we'll just get that out of the way. That actually in the instructions is later on. Uh, it's, it's a later step. It's not one of the first steps, but that's okay. I want to get this out of the way because I think it's going to be the hard part. So I'm going to get to work. Okay, guys, um, we've, got, we've got our power wire hooked to the battery. And the kit provides a butt connector. However, I like to use these little heat shrink connectors that have a little solder inside them. And it just seems like it would be a little more, um, a little better dealing with the elements. So we just slide these little dudes in there. Come on. There it is. Slide them in there. And I just happen to have a heat gun here. And we're going to heat it up and hopefully it sticks. And I think that's going to do it. The solder melted around the, the wires. That's a good connection. Now we just have to get this black wire routed across the Jeep, down the driver's side, uh, to the back uh, where we're going to hook into that little converter box, whatever that thing is. Okay, I got my black power wire over to the driver's side. Now I just have to run it down under the Jeep and along the frame rail to the driver's side rear taillight. So I'm going to see how I can stuff this thing down in there. All right, guys, so we got our power wire run back to the back of the Jeep. And so we're going to set that out of the way. And the next step is I've got to remove uh, both uh, tail lights. So 
The way you remove the tail lights is there's a Torx, a T30 uh, screw. Um, it's, there's a little uh, cover. You pop the little cover loose, um, T30, unscrew the pl big plastic screw, and this thing pops right out. Same, same thing for the other side. So let me get these things out. We'll see what the next step is. Okay, we got uh, the tail light out. Um, let, me, let me show you the little screw. This is that plastic screw. Um, it's got a T30 Torx head. Simple to undo. Now we just got to... These things are always a pain. Disconnect that. Push the little tab down and they disconnect. I have a sneaking suspicion the next step is going to be this thing. Oop, this thing. And I think it's going to go in there. If you've got one of these Jeeps and you don't have one of these trim removal tools, you really need to invest in one. These new vehicles have five bazillion little clips. All right, so we got that connected. Now what we're gonna do is there's, they provide double-sided tape I'm going to clean off a spot in here, use some double-sided tape, um, attach this to the body, and then we've got the green wire that's going to run to the other side, and then this is the actual trailer light connection. I'm just going to drop that down and I'll run it up through the bumper. Oh, probably need to go ahead and run my power wire up through here and connect that. There's our power wire. I'm going to connect that to the black wire right there. And I think I'm going to use one of those heat shrink dealing my bobbers again. All right. Okay, so I got uh, these things, uh, the, the wiring harness spliced into the tail lights on both sides. Um, and the ground wire I ran there, I found a hole right in here and I just put a bolt in um, and I'm going to test that ground. I've got my little plastic module strapped in there. Now all I've got to do is get the tail lights put back in. Should be pretty easy. And then I've got to run the four wire and get it all cleaned up. Put it all back together and hopefully it's going to work. I don't know where I'm going to hang that. I'm going to find somewhere. Then I'll back it out and hook it up to the jet ski trailer and make sure it works. So we should be good to go. I'm going to get this uh, put back together 
and cleaned up. Got the four wire tucked up in the bumper. All I want to do is take the trailer, which, to tell you the truth, the trailer's been giving me a hard time. We're going to plug this in, Let's see if it works. Let's see what happens there. Okay, those are working. Hey, all right. Hopefully you can see that. All right, that works. Okay, I've got my helper in the Jeep and I've got a, a ground connection and I'm just gonna use a test light and we'll see how this works. Nady, go ahead and hit the left blinker. All right, yeah, it works. Okay, right blinker. Okay, turn that off. Hit the brake lights. Push the brake. Let off, hit it again, let off, okay, hit the running lights, oh yeah, I think we're good, okay bud, shut it off, so it worked, we got the trailer lights hooked up on old Sarge, and now I just got to work on the lights on the jet ski trailer and get me a, uh, a receiver and a, a ball for uh, old Sarge. So other than that, we're good to go. And it really wasn't that bad. The worst part really is running that power wire back from the battery to the rear of the, of the Jeep. I've run so many different wires back there that it's really not a big deal. Super easy to splice into uh, the tail lights then you hook up a ground and you're done. It's got a little 10 amp fuse up front and everything worked out fine. So hopefully this uh, helped you out. And if you're looking at uh, hooking up some trailer lights on your Jeep Wrangler, the, the Kurt, uh, the kit from Kurt is definitely the way to go. At least it's one. I think I paid like $75 for it on Amazon. So um, really super easy kit to work with. So there you have it. And I hope I'll see you on the trail soon. Like, subscribe, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you any money. It's free. Just hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Again, we're at 600 subscribers as of today. And uh, looking for some more. My next goal is 750. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you on the trail.